10 rounds, middleweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Tony's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Intentions is the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubt. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. His adversary, by, by way of San Juan, that, that intention. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. Remember what we talked about? Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is a 10 rounder. Think about the great historic moments in the sport, and many times you think about the one single big punch that finished a great fight. He's the kind of fighter that can do that here tonight. Yeah, and more importantly than that, yeah, he has the power, but there's been other guys. Ernie Shavers had great power. He never won the heavyweight title. You have to have a trick to get it to the target when it's most needed, like Rocky Marciano against Ezra Charles. You know, Marciano had very little time left. His nose was split, and the ref was going to stop the fight. He had to land that punch, and he had a little trick. Started one hand, threw the other. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Still not moving enough. Ooh, move. <laughs> Good block there. Five lights out. Nice block. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and keep throwing punches. Where's your body work? Come on now, hit the body. Let's see that. Hit the body. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Here we go. Round two is underway. Blocks that belt line well. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Yeah!
Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. Halfway through this round, Lights Out's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Nice block by Lights Out. Tony's out there just waiting on a counter punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's gonna get caught. So what he wants to do is, he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. Go, go! Well Stay off the from. mark by bad intentions. All right, you want this fight? Because listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you gotta stay. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? And round number three is underway. Watch that. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Punch! Punch! Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, I like what I see. I love it. Down defense, good block that time by Lights Out. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Unable to score with the hook. Bad Intentions has got something to think about now. He just... Well Stay off the from. mark by bad intentions. All right, you want this fight? Because listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you got to stay. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? And round number three is underway. Watch that. Come on, baby. Uppercut. Watch the hook. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Defense, good block that time by Lights Out. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Unable to score with the hook. 
Bad intentions has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And now he's targeting upstairs. Tony's combination punching is working well here. Not precise at all by lights out. Tony's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Missed that uppercut. Well placed, jab straight. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Boy, keep swinging, baby. And the round comes to an end. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Lights out's in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Hook! Hook! Yeah, you got this! You got this one, baby! That's what I like to see. That's my man. Keep fighting. There's the combo downstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Lights Out. Punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Five lights out. Tony's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Tony's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. That's a good block, five lights out. Really frustrating his opponent now. Tony's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. He falls victim to that big hook. Oh, and there you go. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Good job on the two-punch combo by Lights Out. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. That hook was well off the mark. 
Tony's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Lights out. Right hand scores well. He missed with that headshot. There it is. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Four. Five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. He scored well after being hit himself. A very crisp combination by Lights Out. Gets rid of that body shot. So he puts forth another punishing display. Tony's dominating this fight from start to finish, and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. Good defensive skill with the block. Five lights out. Scored well to the body again. Bad Intentions is fighting a completely different fight right now. He went down earlier, and you can see that he's just throwing that strategy, that original game plan, right in the garbage. Well, it's showing you that he's a thinking man's fighter. He had to make an adjustment. You know, he would have had no chance to survive and to later win this fight if he stayed with the same plan. He had to come up with a little bit of a change. And that's exactly what he's done. Solid right hand lands. Tony's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Lights out's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hands. What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Ladies and gentlemen, by, by knockout, your winner, knockout. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Tony's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get.